Tonight, with more and more shots fired and stolen cars around Charlottesville, the city's police chief says he wants more cameras in the community and he wants caretakers to be held accountable when juveniles commit crimes. Destiny Harris caught up with the chief today and now joins us. Hey, Steve, I asked Chief Michael Cotches questions that are on a lot of our minds. What's behind the increase in crimes and what's being done to address it? Here's what he had to say. One of the things that's most um, that's most concerning to me, it's juveniles who are settling their conflicts with firearms. Charlottesville's police chief Michael Cotches says what makes the issue worse is that adults are the pushing behind the conflicts. What I mean by that is we are seeing adults encouraging and facilitating front yard brawls, fights of children to settle conflicts. Those fights are then videotaped and posted on social media and they linger out there for all to see. Chief Cotches says those adults will be held accountable if the system works. Cotches has a specific example where he says it did not. Zymia Brown was arrested Tuesday night in connection to a shots fired incident that happened on March 5th. He was released on an unsecured bond, an unsecured bond for an act of violence that was committed within this city of Charlottesville in broad daylight on a basketball court released less than a day after he was arrested. Uh, that's absolutely unacceptable for our magistrates to be releasing individuals who are accused of violent felonies in this community. In this community. Our community deserves better than that. Charlottesville police say the crime the city has experienced the last few weeks is a repeat from previous years. Yeah, so we are seeing a direct correlation between stolen vehicles and our shots fired calls, just like we have last year. We're seeing a direct correlation. Cotches says he plans to speak out at City Council on April 1st, present crime numbers, and ask again about getting video surveillance cameras out in their community. It is a data-driven approach that has seen results in like-sized cities like Norfolk, Portsmouth, Alexandria, Fairfax, that uh, have experienced similar issues, and they're seeing positive results from that program. Chief Cotches says CPD is still looking for people in connection to crimes within the last few weeks. If you know any information, he's asking you to contact police immediately. Live in the newsroom, Destiny Harris, 29 News at 5.